hello everyone and welcome to a new episode of my Pillars of Eternity Let's Play. At the end of the previous episode I had finally made my way to the fort or the hold and I talked to the steward telling me that I would find the old watcher somewhere below in the dungeon. I did have a look around the hold. There wasn't much, uh, just a bunch of ghosts and, and phantoms and spirits and the like. And I just went downstairs in the dungeon. That's where I stopped, so I don't know what to expect. Hopefully something good. I also have a full party now, which is good. Even though I have two priests and two chanters. Well, I'll see when I get a chance to have a new hero. I'll have to get rid of one of the doubles. I guess it's going to be the priest that I created myself. Even though she's cute and all that. But she's not going to have any of the special lines of dialogue because she's a, a generic character anyway. So we'll see when we get there. So here we are, right at the beginning of the dungeons. And I see a silver trail of slugs that gleams inside the barrel. No idea what's in there. And I already have an enemy. Oh, come on, I took a single step. That's all I did. I took a single step. I have a character that's suffering from frostbite. And that stays where it is. I don't know when that happened. Anyway, just checking real quick that everyone is using the right kind of weapon. Again, if it's a single spider, I'll be fine. If there's a bunch, I'll... Uh -huh. There's a bunch, so let's stop thinking about how this is going to happen. Everyone gather around him. Good. Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I remember now. I was supposed to rest before I head out in the dungeon. I remember now because I see I'm nearly dead. That sort of thing, you know, never lies. So, we're gonna have you... I guess I could use the spell that puts him in a protective bubble, but then all the spiders are gonna come running towards me. Let's see if I have some good spells out here. Long-lasting circle of healing. Well, it's, it's really not about endurance anymore, it's about health. A target, burn damage, and lowering deflection. Oh, where's a good fireball when you need one? That ah, won't work because of the wall. Repulsive seal. That could work. I can only get one though. If it sends them away. Hmm, I'm not sure the the area is large enough. Suppress affliction. Not good enough. Fortifies health of the ally in the area of effect. Immunity to the sickened and weakened affliction. Not good enough. Um, there was something to... Not, not against fear, but the exact opposite. That could be good for him. Uh, it's gonna have to be strong enough for a little while. Until I can um, bewildered, confuse the enemy in an area like this area would be good. Thank you. You're chanting. You can use your holy radiance because even Eder is in range. This is one per rest, not one per fight. Obviously, it's a little too good to use just this once. Uh. See how it goes. Uh, like worth that rock. Especially when these are not moving. Maybe I'll manage. Just maybe, 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 maybe. Might have to reload <laughs> this soon. Oh, 
what? You're dead. You're charmed. What? It's green. And it's attacking the others. Fair enough. I suppose I'm in a fight. And now I'm not. And now you hate me again. So. Up I go. Going to rest. Make sure I start the dungeon reasonably strong and ready for a fight. So he looks in a terrible, terrible shape. And I can't help but wonder... You hold your ground and you defend yourself. And you don't use... I didn't save. Okay, never mind. It's not important. That is the resting bonus, the movement bonus from resting. And frostbite. How do I cure frostbite? I'm gonna look at oh. my priests. No, no. No. What? Do I have something that removes afflictions? I don't think so. Let's see what happens when I rest. Naturally. Let's get out. I hope the, the ghosts don't respawn. So I can rest in peace? <laughs> no, not, not like that. Just rest without being bothered. <sighs> Those loading screens are quite long. But... Movement, movement, you don't have it, so... Rest. And the frostbite is gone. Good. That's really the the most important thing. There was quite a handicap. So let's go. This time we're ready, I think. I had a level up. I wonder if I can enchant one of my weapons now. I'll have to remember to have a look later. So, and we're gonna start with. Oh. All right then. I just want to make sure Adair is first. Thank you. Even him hey. is going to start with range. Breathless. 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 Breathless.
Not bad. Kenna took a bit of damage. But hopefully he'll be fine in the next fights. So there's a spider here. Of course. Time to see and not be seen. What a lovely, lovely place. Yeah, now I see you. I wonder why you're not attacking me. I mean, obviously I'm scouting, but <laughs> not usually that good. So let's have a look around here. Just to make sure I don't have enemies that appear out of nowhere behind me. Okay. Well, Ivory Spiderling, you're up. Leave it to me! Ah, got it. Really, I'm surprised those aren't attacking. It's like... Spiders don't care one for another, I guess. And that suits me just fine. Am I out of combat already? Clearly not. I'm still singing. Fair enough. if um, having two chanters doesn't help me loads. Wait a second, one says suppressed. Is it because I have two identical chants going on? If that's the case, that's just plain stupid. You have Blessed was dull the edge and come soft wind of why Lacana has two identical, but so really there's no point of you playing that. So yes, I'll have to be careful when I level up to not give them exactly the same songs. Hmm. New, New orders, orders, Lieutenant. Ready your squad. Fair enough. All right, then. Let's see what you have to say, Commander. A spectral man, arrayed in armor, and an officer's cloak, studies a single sheet of paper. You can see straight through it, and the Ducal and Aedra in sickness on his breastplate. He seems to read over the page several times before looking about you. What he does, his expression... Sorry, when he does, his expression is unreadable. There's been a change of plans. Take your squad and march south, all the way to the bow in the river. Bring a wagon team and a dozen barrels of pitch. His voice falters and he shakes his head. The hand holding the paper drops to his side. I'm just going to listen. The instructions come from Admet Hadred himself, which means they might as well have come from the Duke. We're to burn those hut dwellers out. Set fire to the Deerwood so they've nowhere to retreat. Cut them down when they come out. Or let them blaze if they won't. A ghostly sigh forms a mist in front of his lip. That's quite dreadful. It'll make this even shorter than the Broken Stone War, all right. And we can only hope it'll discourage future conflicts. I know this is personal for you. It is for many of us. But understand, 
We're doing this to end this war, not to continue the last one. Remember that we're flushing out the enemy, not burning villages for sport. Bereth will have his work cut out for him tonight. Lovely. I'll see what I can find. The gut is rough with splinters. Ah. Okay, going down. The survival skill is used to identify plants, creatures and other knowledge of the natural world in conversation and scripted interaction. So it's good everybody's got some something including myself. We'll take those farmers by surprise. And you be a raider. Almost time. Di and Heather scouted the village last night. They're rounding up the rest of the party now. Uh, Don't worry. Say Everyone remembers the raid was your idea. The Rio had to go along with it after you'd gotten the rest of the clan riled up. No one wants it said that the Nine Claws were too cowardly to stand with the rest of the tribe when the foreigners desecrated our ruins. The ragged stripes of paint on his veins twist as he laughs. You may not like them, but they're still our elders. For now. A dead grey tooth peers from between his lips. That was clever, drawing the support of the community first. By the time you approached the Rairo, they had no choice but to support us. There's no doubt you'll join their ranks one day, so long as no farmer's pitchwork fell you tonight. He laughs. That doesn't the sound funny. The tribes need more leaders like you. Women who value deeds over words. He reaches towards your cheek, but stops midway. His plate fingers quivering as a tremor of doubt runs through him. Well, if you're thinking of touching me, yeah. You were right. We were too soft when the foreigners first came, and now they humiliate us. We'll be soft no more, and the invaders will learn to leave us alone once and for all. So everyone is planning to destroy everybody else. That's locked. Let's see if Why I can not? open it. Yes. There. Done. Well done. Uh, hello. Hello. No. Yes. Keep away from us. Leave us. Okay, good news, I found him. Bad news, he sounds mad. Let's see the description. A large, liver-spotted man, barrel-chested and paunchy, cowers in the far corner of the room, his white hair a tangled, stringy mess. He covers his face and chest with trembling hands, unable to look in your direction. That's not very welcoming. Maybe we should come back later? <laughs> no, we came all this way. He looks up over his hand, the muscles around his eyes twitching, and begins whispering to himself in sharp hisses, as though having an argument. Okay, he's just mad. It's a thing in that game, isn't it? All at once, he stops shaking, a sudden calmness falling over him. His head tilts forward slightly, and he looks you dead in the eye, like a cornered animal about to pounce. His voice turns suddenly raspy. Mayor Wald isn't he? And he isn't fooled. He has sent for no callers. Be gone, deceiving spirit. <laughs> yeah, he's really lost it. Okay, how do we get him back? Explain I'm a watcher who told me I should find you. There's something wrong with you. I don't think he's gonna <laughs> like that. I won't leave until I've spoken to Merwald, maybe. I'm not spirit do I don't like any spirit you've ever seen. Logic might work. Okay, option three or four. Three. Mayor Wald will speak with you, but you will maintain your distance, or you'll have me to answer to. Okay, that worked. Come to speak to Mayor Wald. Mayor Wald, whose touch is poison. Mayor Walt, who knows not his effect. 
Uh, first, I want to read the description. Uh, the man's posture falls, and the hands it held strongly at his sides a moment ago resumes their original tremors. His voice is feeble and tentative. Okay. So, I was told I'm a watcher and that you could tell me more about it, please, before you go crazy. And about uh, a tablet of some worth after that, once you two are finished, of course. Of course, Kana. A window. Window to the ether where spirits dwell. Hear and reach into it. Speak and listen through it. A watcher sees souls, reads them, knows their pasts, souls of the living, souls of the dead, an empath, and the souls see them back. Used it to help beings in both realms, did I, what the gods wanted of me, thought I. The gods put me in the world for vengeance, and I obliged. It was the gods' wishes that we protect those lands. My way was the only way to remove the foreigners. Okay, that sounds like the raider. Little I knew. You seem to have lost your mind. Yes, that would be an understatement. I was accosted by spirits on my way here. What do they want? Make me crazy, apparently. I'm going to go with number two. No! No! Forgive me! Forgive me! Okay, he covers his mouth with his hand, his breath's convulsing, his eyes red and exhausted. You seem to have lost your mind, then. Lost? No. Found more of it. Too much. Too much to bear. An awakening. How could a simple awakening have driven you to this? Let's lose, let's use my lore. You mean you remember your past lives? Something reminds. Memories stirred. Memories before birth. Other bodies. Other times. Memory. Personality. Identity. Any might resurface. Or all. And I seem to be having a conversation with several of them right now, indeed. Ghosts of the mind. Meowald has lost control. Meowald's body no more. The spirits I passed, what are they? Spirits. And not spirits. Always whispering to Meowald, reminding him of his mistakes. No sleep. Watchers see memories before them, form them from the essence of their own souls. Once Meowald awakened, he could not make them leave. Gave them more form, not less. So the spirits are memories from his previous life. Troubled memories. Angry memories. Pulling Meowald back, reminding him his mistakes. Marauder and soldier. Soldier and marauder. How could they know? I have seen apparitions like those elsewhere since I became a watcher. That's true. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. You too? You too. Okay. Promising. All at once, in spite of his abject misery, his expression changes to one of utmost sympathy. Poor woman. Poor woman. They will take you too. What exactly does it mean? Surely something can be done. You're saying I'll end up like you. So fragile the Watcher's mind. So real his memories. Once awakened, how can he sleep? Option one. Why do these past lives still trouble you? Option two. How do you tell a spirit from a memory? Option three, if I am awakened to a past life, how would that have happened? I'll go with number one. Maybe it's a matter of, uh, you know, 
undoing the wrongs of the past and then he'll feel better? Maybe? I'll try. My fault. Oh, my fault. Soldier and marauder. Soldier and marauder and Mayor Walt. No forgiveness for what's past. No undoing what's done. No sleep. No sleep for the Watcher. Okay, so much for that. War there was all around. War of stone. War of tree. He's talking about two different wars fought back to back a long time ago. The Broken Stone War and the War of Black Trees. The usual conflicts between locals and settlers getting out of hand, both of them. Some folks are still mad about what one side did to the other. Death we brought to the settler men. We the Nine Claws. Claws of Nine. Worse what we did to the women. For love of the gods. The gods love. For their love. Hmm. I met one of your memory spirits. There was talk of raiding a village. Miwon's voice becomes raspy. And he is somewhere else in place and time. Speaking to someone unseen. Hold her down. Head her. Give this out of your bitch an air that belongs an air gladfath. <laughs> Mayor World cringes himself again, watching something he can't bear to see, shaking his head over and over. He wails. We heard. His soul is marked by flame. And those marks will never heal. His trial has broken him. But better than that to live in weakness. Uh huh. So, go on. It's a bit brief. Take your time. It's over now. Okay, I can be kind. Keep talking. I'm enjoying this. No. You were a monster. You deserve this. Uh huh. Terrible things happen in war. Living with what you've done is its own penance. Wisdom there. Um, number two or number five? I'm gonna go with number two. The boy. The boy. The baby boy. The boy. Conceived in the raid. Conceived by force. Vessel for Marauder. Slain in the raid. Marauder and the boy. Marauder and soldier. A baby conceived by the raider? What do you mean it was a vessel for him? For the soul. A marauder's soul. Same soul. One soul. Boy's soul. Marauder's soul. Raised in lies and vengeance. Raised to soldier. Raised for the fire. Born for the fire. Number one. Then it was his mother I met up in the keep. She told him his father was killed by the raiders. Which is not quite true, You'll apparently. You'll get no pity from me. The crimes of the Nine Claws clan in the last war are still unavenged. But the gods are just. They have led me here. In my father's name, every one of you will burn. Light it. Okay. So it's the son that became a soldier and that got to... Then burn the village of basically his father. Bay the Usher's crooked ban. Yeah, I won't pretend I understood that. Mirwall's shoulders slump. He rocks back and forth, agitated. He mutters to himself, oblivious to your presence. Soldier and marauder, lies and vengeance, and dead villages. All dead. All dead. What for? What for? Okay, option one, I don't know. <laughs> True. Your soul is given is given to wickedness. The only question is why the gods don't tear it apart. Honestly, maybe yes. I see no reason, just bad luck. No. Whatever the reason, I don't think we're meant to know. Very, very spiritual. Uh, 
You speak in riddles and I don't have the patience to try and understand. I'll go with number two. How little we know. Okay. And I'm back to the previous questions. How do I tell the spirits from a memory? Fragmented our memories. Stuck in time. Mindless. Cruel. Never far. Okay. And um, how do I become awakened to a you past life? You were reminded of it. Strong memories. Lingering lives. They dwell near the surface. Waiting to be remembered. Waiting to take your mind for their own. Meowald sat at his hearth and watched his fire. Watched the wood burn. Then came the memory of another fire and burning wood and screams. His face trembles invol involuntarily. And I'm left with option four. There must be some way to make these memories go away. No. Always there. Always remembered. Can't forget. Can't unsee. I didn't just remember. Someone caused this. They wore masks and spoke, and spoke of books and keys and a queen. There was a man there. He seemed familiar to me. Keys of lead. Books of burden. Queens that were. Known to me are they. The leaden key. The leaden key. The leaden key. It seems we share an enemy, Danae. Assassins and watchers, wakers, both. They certainly keep busy. What can you tell me about them? Who is the queen they pray to? Awakening. Could they undo it? I don't think so. Well, tell me something about them. Secrets. Secrets. And deceptions. And schemes. Who knows their answers? Not they. Not they. Crossed them before. Hatred of watchers. Hatred and fear. Much we see. Threat to secrets. Okay, tell me about the queen. Woodica. Goddess. Crown shattered and body burned. Binder of oaths and grudge holder. Bearer of justice, but whose? She seems like a charming person. I'm gonna try option three, even though I'm fairly certain it cannot be undone. Many secrets do they keep. Unawaken? Mayhap. Who else if not they? Okay, there's hope then. Do you know where I can find them? City of Defiance. Never far from the Queen. I need to go so I can search for this man from the leaden key. Secrets. Secrets. And deceptions. And schemes. Who Oops. knows their answers? Not they. Sleep well. Sleep well. Okay. I pressed number one by mistake. Continue. Hold. Oui. I knew your will die. Your actions were seen. You would sooner betray us to the Adia land thieves than take orders from me. Um, take it easy. I don't think that's going to work. I'm not going to say I want to beat you senseless. You are confusing me with someone from a past life. Your betrayal is for nothing. Your warnings are lost on these foreigners. And their blood will be Galloway's tribute this night. I have asked the elders for the honor of claiming your head as my first trophy. And they have granted it. Beg for the seeker god to grant you a quick death. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. I'm expecting a fight. What are those? Small wind blight. And small flame blight. They seem to resist frost. They're immune to fire and piercing, and that's a good start. And I know nothing about male wounds. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna use my usual tactic. 
So, what do I do? Try to get rid of the two weaker ones or go for him and try to... I'm assuming it's gonna cast spells or something. I mean, he's in a robe. And he has a book. He's definitely going to cast spells. So I want to interrupt that. And maybe I can take him down with the arrows as well. I have rested. I'm gonna wait, because I don't want to miss my one chance at using that skill. But you... I've already used that. I'm not in combat yet. So we'll wait. Somehow I've got a feeling that that's not going to do anything. Okay. Let's get into combat hey. first. Hey. Hopefully those are going to follow Edair. Now that I'm in the fight. You can have your aura for everyone. You can have armor of faith for everyone. I can use that spell too. Maybe I should keep the spells for the the blights. Hey there, you're not moving any reason. is already injured and well, that's good so am I not as good okay what else can I do I now have the armor of faith let's have a blessing you maybe you could do some damage or why not you keep going with the spells. Let's see if I can try something a little more deadly. <laughs> oh, you've come for me. Well, thank you. Ah, ah, <laughs> that hurts. And is only just injured. But... One phantom, and what do you have? Reduce the damage reduction of enemies, that could be good. Summon three skeletons, and you know that could turn the table. Stun and shove the enemy in the area of effect. Let's get the, the skellies. You want your second wind, definitely. You want to cast a spell that will give endurance to a single person, I don't know. Holy meditation, not good enough. Hopefully it's not going to try to fear me. I mean, you know, to scare me. That's what I want. Badly injured. And now I have a phantom. I got him. And the other two just disappeared. Whew. Okay. There is a change in the air of the keep. What was thick and suffocating feels to you somehow more breathable, as though yielding to a conquering invader. Merwell's body lies inert. He can feel his soul lingering there, uncertain. 
There is something unique about this soul in this place, a bond formed in decades of inhabitants and lordship that feels somehow palpable to you, as though even in death the keep knows its former master, and the former master remembers his keep. Speaker to the restless, okay. In your mind's eyes, the bond seems to you as a frayed rope, ghostly and alive, its frayed ends writhing like tight pull animons. And you find that if you concentrate on it, you have the ability to manipulate its strands. Do I want to repair the ropes binding Mirwal Soul here as an intern as an internal warden? Severe the rope, allowing Merwas to pass from the world. Maybe that would be the more merciful things to do. Or draw upon the energy of the rope itself, siphoning knowledge from the connection. Okay, not the third one. I don't want to, to use him. Ah... <sighs> He remembers his keep. Does he want to remember the keep and be bound to it? Or do I want to allow him to pass from the world? <laughs> it would be nice to be able to talk to him afterwards. He should be quite knowledgeable. I'll go for number one. The frayed pieces twist and fuse as the bonds strengthen, the fibre becomes metal and the rope becomes a chain. You watch as Merwal's soul recedes into the floor, melting with it, spreading thin across it until it is one with the entire place, a silent guardian. I hope it's not going to make the place crazy. And... Can I have something to say? Let's talk. Poor Merwald. He couldn't contend with all that he knew of himself. A cruel fate. It might be my fate too. He was weak. I won't end up the same way. I have no idea. I don't think knowledge was the problem. He said that if I can find out what caused this, it might help me. It may be my fate too. It may, but Mirwal knew his curse, for all that he succumbed to it. Perhaps he gave you what you need to escape his fate. Let's seek out these ruins he mentioned. We may find something of use. Okay. Yes. So, you should be able to learn new spells. Lots and lots and lots. How rich am I? You know what? Anyway, I want to learn all of them. So. 100. I'll wait for the level 2 and 3 spells because they might be just too expensive right now. Yeah, 600. That's a bit too much. I got a, a cool sword and I didn't even equip it. Well done me. Is that one-handed or two-handed? One-handed. But admittedly, it is my best sword, so... He should have it. Together with, with my best shield. Because he's the one taking the damage day in, day out. Good thing I kept a spare shield. Here. There we go. Okay. Anything else I want to look at? A worn book lies on the table. Its page is filled with nonsensical scrolls. The sickly sweet smell of rot rises from this half-eaten fruit. It's just lovely. Yeah. Time to see and not be seen. Mostly time to let me know if there's any trap. This won't stop me for long. There! Done! Good. 
And the second one. Locked as well. Yes. There, done. A scepter. I think I already had one. And some gold. Okay, let's quick save that. Is the body going to stay here? It's a bit disturbing. It cannot wait that older said. They don't want to discuss it. Hmm, what now? And what does the flame reveal? Well, the flame reveals a rubbish sword. Okay, the dungeon is going to wait. I feel I should go and talk to the steward. She wanted to know where was Merwald. Well, now he's in the castle. Or the fort, I still don't know. Or the stronghold. Ah, you're right. No sense listening to that old bam part. Damn Virago, not now! <laughs> Virago? Yes? So now we know. been difficult. How long were you? Yeah, nothing new. I guess I'll have to All wait right to then. find out about his um, Siamese hidden twin. I don't know. I felt Mayor Walt's passing. You slew him. He gave me no choice. It saddens me to hear it. But part of me is grateful to no longer have to wait and worry in darkness. This place has always known its master, long as it's had one. It has a will all its own, which has little to do with the castle and much to do with the land it's built on. It looks to you as Meowald's successor now, whether you care for it or not. A dubious honor, inheriting a fortress both broken and cursed. But in the right hands, it could be so much more. If you had only seen it in its day, will you... will you stay? Option one. Uh, Mayor said that I must go to the City of Defiance in search of the Queen. Or, I've always wanted my own keep, even if it's a little cursed. What do I want with a ruin? I know I want the keep anyway. So let's go with number two. Then it is yours, my lady. I cannot begin to tell you how glad that is, how good it is to know that the keep is in capable hand once again. I suppose I should mention first that if you mean to travel to Defiance Bay for supplies, there has been a complication of a kind. The Eastern Barbican collapsed decades ago, and Merwell never got around to rebuilding it. The road here is a dead end. He got as far as gathering he got as far as gathering materials before he became preoccupied. I could make arrangements to have it repaired if it is your will. When it ceased to be sorry, when it ceased to be the previous master's will, I became powerless to do anything about it. For what am I? But the master's instrument. It would take me, but far less than find. It would take time. Sorry, but far less than finding another route for Defiance Bay. Um, how do I repair? What does it entail? Well, repair it first. May won't set aside materials for the Barbican, and they are still available to you. In the future, if you wish to make further repairs to the keep, you will need coin for supplies and labor. Okay, what does it mean to be the master now? Why, there are many responsibilities involved in maintaining a keep. The extent to which you wish to get involved is entirely up to you, of course. Part of the reason I am here is to ensure that things run smoothly in your absence, provided we have been given instruction. 
If you instruct me on which repairs you wish to conduct next, I will make the necessary arrangements. These may take time to finish, but each will provide you with additional resources once they are complete. Given somewhere to place them, we can hire tradesmen to provide you with supplies or ingredients. Repairing the keep will raise your prestige and draw both helpful individuals and unwelcome and atten unwelcome attention from bandits and opportunists. If we can raise the keep security in turn, this will become less of a concern. You should know, however, that the position does come with some risk. Your name will grain fame and you must contend with threats to the keep and then there are other things. Was there anything else, my lady? Yes, those other things. What did you mean when you said the keep was cursed? Yes. Meowulf's curse was his own, a watcher's curse, but his predecessors have not fared better. There is a presence within the keep, or rather far beneath it. At least, such has been the conclusion drawn by all who have come to this place, for what spirits still linger in the endless path oft speak of a master below. Every effort to settle here has failed. From the time of our Adrian colonist onward, beasts rise from the endless path until the new lord or lady is no more. The one who dwells below, this master, does not tolerate rivals, it seems. I have seen from time to time intrepid explorers descend to claim, to lay claim to what answers they can, but none return. This is the force which has kept Cairn Nua a barren, a barren ruin and robbed me of my hopes. The endless path, that, my friend, is where I must go, where we must go. If you will go with me, whatever devils lies ahead, think, too, what knowledge we will find. Perhaps this master speaks Adrian. Okay, tell me about the endless path. The endless path of Od Noir. This is the name given to the labyrinth beneath the keep. The earl, he... We were warned by Glenfarthens that this site was cursed, and there is a legend attached to it, though at the time we thought nothing of it. The ruins were built, it is said, by a powerful Anguithian named Odnua, who ruled there until his people turned against him. They destroyed his endless path, and filled many of the upper tunnels with soil and stone. No one living knows how far down the tunnels stretch, and few who have ventured there have returned. There is much talk of riches and treasure. The promise of Anguithian relics alone has drawn many fortune seekers to their death, I fear. Tell me about the master. I could not say with any certainty. I believe it must be tied to the man said to have been the architect of the endless path, the Anguithian tyrant Od Noir. Some claim his spirit endures, or at least his laid a curse upon the site. I cannot imagine much remains of his work, for the ruins have been here s a thousand years or more, but what is left is unimpressive. The Earl certainly thought so. You may have seen, while below, the hand of the great statue Od Noah constructed. Perhaps it is a statue of Od Noah himself. But am I not the master? Well, let's see. Of course you are. The keep will have no other. But the endless paths are a different thing entirely. It is unfortunate, really, that they are so closely intertwined. Yeah, what a bummer. If the master below is not dealt with, there will always be a threat to the keep from within. I, I know it is much to take in, but if you would remain, if you wouldn't master this place, then I can only advise you to seek out his, this foe before it destroys you. Other questions? No other questions. I shall leave. Time to find this queen and the city of Defiance. You must know this queen you're looking for. Defiance Bay has no queen. The Met Queen of Adria haven't reigned here since the war. The only queen with any power there is Woodica. I am told they erected an exquisite temple in her honor there, but I was never able to see it. If you mean to go there, you can get started right away on repairing the Barbican. You need only to tell me what you wish to do, and I will make the necessary arrangements. Merwell kept a ledger, as it happens, and I have taken the liberty of updating it. You could take a look if you wish. Let me see what repairs I can make. 
Then we'll get underway at once. The steward's voice belies a giddy excitement. No, my lord, that this is but the first and le least of a great many undertakings to keep supported a great many buildings and servants for many years. If you should wish it, we can repair some of the outlying structures, and this will bring you wealth and recognition, drawing people to your service. Rebuilding the defences will keep your grounds from being overrun, as they did under Merwan's keeping. If you need, you need not choose all at once. I am pledged to your aid, and so long as you are master here, we shall always be linked. You need not step upon these grounds to speak with me, but that's very handy. Wherever your travels may take you, you can make your will known to me, if you but reach out. Oh, but first, of course, the Barbican. Oh. Okay. I guess this is where I start. What is that? Gives me plus one prestige and plus two... Mm, security. Well then. Do I want the Bright Hollow restoration? Restoring Bright Hollow will allow you to rest there. Other upgrades can apply. Yeah, I want that. <laughs> 500, that's everything I have. Or save up for the main keep. Allowing visitors and adventures to be available to you and your companion. This is going to wait, I think. There. Explore the endless pass. That's going to wait. The state of the keep. Okay, this is for me to keep track of what's happening. That was really fast construction work there. No events, things to build, recruit hirelings, and party management. Oh, so I can keep all my companions there. Nice. Go to the temple. Oh, you got something to say. Yes? Well, let's hear it. I confess. I was hoping our meeting with Meerwald would go a little differently. But then, you have gained an entire keep. I don't think I've seen anyone inherit land that quickly since Kind the Younger read her father's will. Hmm. I wish I could have gotten through to him, really. It was far gone, but don't worry. The past is there, as we might learn from it. I'm sure we'll find more answers in Defiance Bay. It will give you a base from which to go searching, at least. And then, there are secrets beneath the keep yet. <laughs> With you at the helm, it should be easier to explore the endless paths. Right. Anyone else wants to talk to me? No? Hey. Well... It's been about an hour, so I feel that's a good time to finish the episode. Um, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next week for a new episode. Bye-bye.